Lord, everybody. My name is Bishop John Jennings, and this is my darling wife, Overseer Tina Jennings. She don't want to be on camera. Okay. To our Thursday night Bible study, mm -hmm. we are dating. CAM is our ministry acronym, which stands for Kingdom Authority Ministries International. We are an end time gospel grace marketplace ministry, or as I like to officially say, church without walls. We're located here in the beautiful city of Dayton, Ohio, the city that taught the world how to, how to fly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue our Bible study lesson. We're um, teaching on messianic prophecy or Jesus in every book of the Bible. And last week we started in the book of Exodus and we're going to pick up from there. Every book in the Bible and y'all might want to write this down in your notes. Every book of the Bible has its own spiritual theme. So the theme for the book of Exodus is deliverance. Yeah. And it's connected with God delivering the children of Israel out of Egypt. So the theme for the book of Exodus is deliverance. And Every believer has been delivered from the power of sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're not just saved, but we're saved and delivered. Sin has no more dominion over our mortal bodies. Hallelujah. So let's jump into our lesson. If you have your Bibles, turn with us to Exodus chapter 12, and we're going to all take a verse in reading. I'll kick things off. Exodus chapter 12, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Overseer, Month shall be unto you the beginning of month. Mm -hmm. It shall be the first month of the mm -hmm. year to you. Okay. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, mm -hmm. saying, In the tenth day of mm -hmm. this month, yeah. they shall take to them mm -hmm. every man mm -hmm. and a lamb, yes. according to the house of their father, a lamb for an house. Okay. Verse 4. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from darkness. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the soul. Every man according to his eating shall make your account for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And he shall keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. Mm -hmm. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. Mm -hmm. and, and they shall take of the two of the blood mm -hmm. and strike it on the two side posts mm -hmm. and on the upper door post yes. of the house yes. wherein they shall eat. And they shall eat the flesh and that night roast with fire and unleavened bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat it, eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. Nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning, you shall burn with fire. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. 
Verse 11. And thus shall you eat it with your loins girded, mm -hmm. your shoes on your feet, mm -hmm. and your staff in your hand. Yes. And you shall eat in it. You shall eat it in haste. Mm -hmm. Through the land of Egypt this night, mm -hmm. and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. both man and beast, and yes. against all the gods of Egypt, I, yes. mm -hmm. I am the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. All right. Well, when praise the, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. So, this is the fifth messianic prophecy in the book of Exodus. And we just read the first 13 verses. And matter of fact, we're one month away from the first feast, which is Passover. So the lamb in Exodus 12 is a messing on a prophecy of Jesus' death on the cross for the sins of the whole world. So God can use animals. God can use babies and God can use animals as prophetic symbols. Jesus is our Passover lamb. This messianic prophecy was fulfilled in John 129. Let's turn to that real quick. Okay. Okay, go ahead. The next day, John see if Jesus coming unto him and mm -hmm. said, Behold, Behold, the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. Taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's go to 1 Corinthians 5 and 7. So, so mm -hmm. Jesus is our Passover Lamb, was fulfilled at John 129, which Overseer Tina just read. And let's go to 1 Corinthians 5, 7. And let's see what that, that verse said. Who has, has it? Pastor Leslie, you have it? Out there for the old. Mm -hmm. That ye may be a new lump. Yes. That ye are unleavened. Mm -hmm. For each type, our Passover mm -hmm. is sacrificed for. Okay, so, so the Apostle Paul said that Christ is our, our Passover lamb. Mm -hmm. And it was first prophesied in Exodus 12. And and in, in our ministry and fellowship, we celebrate the seventh feast of Yahweh, which is found in Leviticus 23. And we'll get to that next month. So all right, let's do Hebrews eleven twenty-eight. We got one more verse to read. Who's going to read that for us? Okay. Through faith he kept the Passover mm -hmm. in the sprinkling of blood. Yes. Lest he had destroyed mm -hmm. the firstborn should touch it. Yes. Okay. The writer of Hebrews said, through faith he kept the Passover. Talking about Moses. And the sprinkling of blood lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. All right. right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Overseer Tina said that Hebrews 11 is the Hall of Fame of Faith oh. chapter. 
All right. So the messianic number five is found in Exodus 12, and Jesus is our Passover lamb. Okay, let's let's go one chapter over. Let's go to Exodus 13, and we're going to read the first 10 verses. I'll read the first two. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn, whosoever, whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both man and of beast, it is mine. Verse 2, 3. To the people, mm -hmm. remember this day in which he came out from Egypt mm -hmm. out of the house of bondage. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, as strength of hand, the Lord brought you out. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. Verse 4 and 5, Pastor Leslie. This day came ye out in the month of Abib. Ab 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 mm -hmm. It shall be written. It shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land mm -hmm. of the Canaanites mm -hmm. and the Hittites mm -hmm. and the Amorites. All right. Swore mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Flowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. bread, All right. Mm -hmm. shall be to the Lord. Yes. Bread shall be eaten seven days. Mm -hmm. There shall no other bread be seen with thee. Mm -hmm. Neither shall there be leaven seen with thee in all thy court. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt show thy son in that day, saying, This is done because of that which the Lord did unto me. When I came forth out of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign of mm -hmm. thee upon thine yes. hand. Yes. And for a memorial mm -hmm. between thine eyes. Yes. That the Lord's law mm -hmm. may be in thy mouth. Yes. But with a strong hand has mm -hmm. the Lord brought thee out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. That thou, thou shalt thereof keep the forth. I shall therefore keep this ordinance mm -hmm. in his season yes. from year to year. Okay. All right. All right. So circle verse six. Circle the A clause of verse seven. Circle all of verse nine. And circle all of verse 10. And here's, here's the revelation jesus it's okay so in 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 chapter 12 jesus is the passover lamb but in chapter 13 jesus is our unleavened bread yeah. hallelujah this messianic prophecy was fulfilled in jesus burial okay and this was also fulfilled in first corinthians 5 8 so let's turn to that. We just read 5 7. Mm -hmm. Overseer, do you have it? Yeah. First Corinthians 5 8. Se eight. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let us keep the feast, mm -hmm. not with old leaven, mm -hmm. neither with the leaven of malice and yeah. wickedness, but with the unleavened bread mm -hmm. of sincerity and truth. All right. How many people know that Jesus is great? Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. All right. All right, so Messianic prophecy number five, Jesus is our Passover lamb. Messianic prophecy number six, Jesus is our unleavened bread. Because he had no teeth. Right. No lumps. No lumps. Amen. Thank you, overseer. Amen. All right, let's stay in Exodus 13. And let's jump down to verse 21 and 22. Oh, um, may I point out here? Yes. Uh -huh. that the Lord in these, these um, passages mm -hmm. was all caps. Yes. L-O-R-D. Mm -hmm. Meaning 
Jehovah or Yahweh. Yes, amen. All right, right. Um, Pastor Desiree, would you read verse Exodus thirteen twenty one, and Pastor Leslie, you read verse twenty two. The Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud mm -hmm. to lead them the way, and by night in a pillar of fire mm -hmm. to give them light to go to go by day and night. Mm -hmm. He took not away the pillar of the cloud by mm -hmm. day nor the pillar of fire by night mm -hmm. from before the peak. All right. Thank you. He take care of the day and night. Yes. So, so Jesus is, so Messianic prophecy number seven, Jesus is our pillar of cloud and fire. This messianic prophecy it was fulfilled in John eight twelve. So let's turn to John eight twelve. John eight twelve. Yes. Uh, go ahead. Then spake Jesus again unto them, mm -hmm. saying, "Yeah, I am the light of the world. Yes. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness. Okay. But so, shall have the light. Of the world. Amen. So the the children of Israel during their wilderness wanderings, Jehovah provided for them a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire to light their way yeah. day and night. So Jesus is the light of the world. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our non-stop light. So when you accept Jesus into your life, he gives you his light. Mm -hmm. So this is Messianic prophecy number seven. So that pillar of cloud and that pillar of fire was Jehovah lighting the way for the children of Israel. That's a Messianic prophecy of Jesus being the light of the world. All right, any questions? Okay, sure. And because Jesus is the light of the world, he lives in us. Yes. We are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. Because Amen. Representing light. Mm -hmm. not right. And light is greater than darkness. Come on, it dispels. All right. Okay, let's flip over to Exodus 14, and we're going to read the same two verses. Verses, verses 21 and 22. I'll read 21. And overseer, I would like for you, you to read verse 22. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night. And made the sea dry land and the waters were divided. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. Okay. So the revelation of Exodus 14. For the children of Israel, when they crossed the Red Sea, Jesus is our baptizer, and Jesus is our salvation. So he's our way. So the so the children of Israel crossing the Red Sea on dry land was a messianic prophecy for us as 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 a new covenant believers. He's our way maker. He's our baptizer, and he is our salvation. So let's go to 1 Corinthians 10, and I'm going to ask Pastor Leslie to read verse 1, and Pastor Desiree to read verse 2. 1 Corinthians 10, 1 and 2. Moreover, brethren, mm -hmm. I would not that he should be ignorant. Yeah. 
Now that all our fathers mm -hmm. are under the cloud, yes, pass through the sea. Mm -hmm. All of them. Okay, verse two. And we're all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Okay, thank you. Okay, all of them. So God is a God of wholeness. Yes. Okay, now Hebrews 11 and 29. You have it, Pastor Tina? Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a thing to do for drown. See, what a mighty God we yeah. serve. God will take care of you, mm -hmm. and he will take care of you by wiping out your enemies. Mm -hmm. So tell your enemies to quit being your enemies mm -hmm. because God's about to wipe them out. Oh, mm -hmm. God. Oh, that's a word right there. Because any 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 anybody that's an enemy to a believer is an enemy to God. Woo! That's powerful, and you don't want to do that. Hallelujah! Thank you. Yes, yeah, right. They yeah, you yeah. sing that song. Uh, let God arise and your enemies be scattered. Hallelujah! Amen. Uh, uh, the Egyptians thought they was gonna go through. Yeah, yeah, but that was a setup. They got a rule away. Yeah. All right, right. Okay, so that's uh, Messianic prophecy number eight. Let's go to Exodus 16, and we're going to read verses 14 and 15. Exodus 16, verses 14 and 15. And when the dew that was that lay was gone up, behold, upon the face of the wilderness, there lay a small round thing, as small as the hoarfrost on the ground. And when the children of Israel saw it, mm -hmm. they said one to another, mm -hmm. it is mad. Mm -hmm. For they wist not what it was. Mm -hmm. And Moses said unto them, This is the bread which the Lord hath given you to eat. Amen. Amen. Um, Amen. All right. Right. So Jesus is our manna from heaven. So the manna is the messianic prophecy number nine. Jesus is our manna from heaven. In other words, he is our living bread. This was fulfilled in John 635. And 651. So let's go to those two verses. Mm -hmm. John 6, 35, and 651. If you have it, go ahead and read it. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto them, mm -hmm. I am the bread of life. Yeah. And he that cometh to me <laughs> shall never, never hunger. Yes. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. All right. Verse 51. Mm -hmm. Yes. He shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, mm -hmm. which I will give for the life of the world. Amen. Amen. So the manna that the children of Israel ate was temporary, but Jesus fulfills all of our hunger pains and our thirst. So the manna was a messianic prophecy for the believer as for Jesus is the believer's living bread. Hallelujah. All right. Let's go one chapter over. Let's go to Exodus 17. Let's go to Exodus 17, 
We're going to read verses 1 through 7. We ready? Okay. And all the congregation of the children of Israel journey from the wilderness of sin after their journeys according to the commandment of the Lord and pitch and refeed them and there, there was no water for the people to drink. Mm -hmm. Give us water that we we may drink. Mm -hmm. And Moses said unto them, mm -hmm. Why chide ye with me? Mm -hmm. Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? All right, verse 3. And the people thirsted there for water. Mm -hmm. And the people murmured against Moses. Mm -hmm. said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt mm -hmm. to kill us mm -hmm. and our children and our cattle with thirst? Mm -hmm. And Moses cried unto the Lord. Yeah. Age. What shall I do unto this people? Mm -hmm. They be almost ready to stone me. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go on before the people, and take with thee of the elders of Israel, and thy rod, wherewith thou smotest the river, take in thy hand, and go. Behold, I will stand before thee there upon the rock, mm -hmm. and thou shalt smite the rock. Mm -hmm. Come water out of it, mm -hmm. that the people may drink. Yeah. And Moses did so in mm -hmm. the sight of the elders of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he called the name of the place Messiah. Messiah. Mm -hmm. And Mirabah. Mirabah. Mm -hmm. Because of the childing of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And because they tempted the Lord, mm -hmm. saying, is the Lord among us or not? Okay. So how Highlight in your Bibles, um, chapter six, where it says, "Thou shalt smite the rock, and there shall come water out of it." Verse six, and the, so the water is a messianic prophecy of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is our rock mm -hmm. and our living water. So we got three verses. Uh, let's go to Matthew 16, 18. And we pretty much know that by heart. Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter. Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay, so Jesus is our rock. Not me. Right. Some people get the twist. Right. Uh, let's go to John 14. Let's go to John 14. You have that overseer? Jesus mm -hmm. answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God and who it is that saith to thee, mm -hmm. Give me to drink, mm -hmm. thou would have asked of him, mm -hmm. and he would have given thee living water. Yes, amen. Okay. So Jesus is our living water. And then let's go to John 19 28. Jesus was on the cross. And this is one of the one of his statements from the cross. Real short. Okay, who has that? All right, go ahead. Jesus knowing that all things are now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith I thirst. I thirst, okay. All right, so, so that was mess, water out of the rock is messianic prophecy number 10, number 10. All right, the last one. Let's go to Exodus 33. 
and we're going to read verses 18 through 23. Verse 18 to 23. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness. Come on now. Pass before thee, mm -hmm. and I will proclaim the name of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. And he said, Thy can be my faith, mm -hmm. for there shall no man see me. Mm -hmm. and the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me mm -hmm. and thou shalt stand upon a rock and it shall come to pass while my glory passes by that i will put thee in a cleft of the rock and will cover thee with my hand while i pass by and i will take away my hand and mm -hmm. thou shalt see my back part mm -hmm. but my face shall not be seen okay so oh, the revelation is jesus Jesus is our covering. Jesus is the glory of the Father. And Jesus is the one greater than Moses. All right. And we got several verses of how this was fulfilled in the New Testament. Um, the first one is John 1 14. Okay. Who has John? Okay. Go ahead. Uh huh. Yes. And we beheld his glory. Mm -hmm. Come on now. The glory is of the only begotten of the Father. Yes. Full, Full of grace. Grace and, and truth. truth. All right. John 1 18. John 1 mm -hmm. No man has seen God at any time. Mm -hmm. The only begotten. Mm. Which is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared to him. Okay, let's go to John 14 9. John 14 9. Who has that one? Jesus said unto him, mm -hmm. I've been so long time with you, mm -hmm. yet dost thou not know me, Philip? Mm -hmm. He that have seen me have seen the Father. Yeah. And how sayest thou then, she was the Father? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in Hebrews 1 3, I'll do that one. I'll read that verse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hebrews 1 3. And the uphold and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sin, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Mm -hmm. So in other words, while Jesus was being crucified, he kept creation held in place. Mm -hmm. Then I don't know what is. Mm -hmm. Because he could have said, hey, he could have just like he could have called called down those 12 legions of angels mm -hmm. to wipe out mm -hmm. Jerusalem. He he could have told the whole universe just disintegrate. Mm -hmm. They down here killing me. But he didn't. He said he, uh, he up, upheld everything by the word of his power while he was purging us of our sins. Yes. What a mighty God a mighty we serve. God. Okay, and our last verse is 1 John 4 12. You have that one, Overseer? Yeah. Okay. 1 John 4 12. Mm -hmm. No man has seen God at any time. Mm -hmm. If you love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected. Mm, and this is the month of love. What love got to, love got to do everything. Okay. okay. 
<laughs> so, so in the book of Exodus, there are 11 messianic prophecies of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus in every, every book of the Bible. So that concludes our Bible study. Uh, if you would like a handout, our handouts are free. Free. All we need is an email address. And if this Bible study has blessed you, encouraged you, would you step out on faith and sow a love gift? Our ministry cash app is dollar sign K A M I Dayton. Once again, our ministry cash app is dollar sign K A M I Dayton. All right, we have a our first ministry weekend this year. So tune in Saturday morning, our first annual Black History Month conference, and yes. we, we will be Facebook Live, and yours truly is one of the speakers, along with Pastor Desiree Marvin, who's off camera. And then Sunday, we have Love Revival Part 2 by the Women. And the women of God from across the city of Dayton. So thank you again for tuning in. And remember that we love you, but God loves you greatest and best. Thank you and good night. God bless you. Love you.